Hi, I'm Lauri. I'm from Estonian IT College and today I'm here to present you our tiny little uh, university in Tallinn. So, <clears throat> first of all, IT College uh, is a private, non-profit, higher educational institution. Uh, in other words, you can say we are a University of Applied Sciences. We were established in 2000 and right now we are owned by Information Technology Foundation for Education, also known as HITSA. Uh, but in the summer of 2017, we will be part of uh, Tallinn University of Technology. We have about 900 uh, enrolled students and as we will be part of uh, Tallinn University of Technology, we will grow just a little bit. So, why you should come and study at uh, IT College? First of all, we have an excellent infrastructure in a modern facility. We have a very dynamic and student-friendly study environment. And uh, what's unique uh, in our university is that uh, each and every student will have a personal touch with the uh, lecturers and teachers. Our curricula incorporates worldwide recognized certificates such as Cisco, Oracle, Microsoft and also uh, Linux Professional Institute. So, a few more facts about uh, Estonian IT College. Uh, we do not have any alumni who is unemployed and uh, most of our students are, get employed already uh, when they start uh, their studies at Estonian IT College. The average earnings uh, for most of the students is well above average and considering uh, Estonian average salary, this 1,500 euros and more, it's, it's quite a bit. And uh, uh, it is also possible to continue studies at a master level. So uh, you can either continue at uh, Tallinn University of Technology master studies, at Tartu University or even go outside Estonia. So a few words about the student life at uh, Estonian IT College. We have very active robotics club. I'm actually the uh, head of the robotics club as well. And uh, every year we participate on the robotics an annual competition. We have a Linux user group and also to complement the Linux user group, we have a Microsoft user group. Uh, we also have media club, which is for example organizing uh, in the end of this week a uh, LAN party at the, uh, at the IT college so students can bring their computers and uh, play games together at school. And we also have very active uh, student council. So these people are very concerned about the well-being of students at the college and they will do your, their best to uh, make sure that uh, all of your problems will get solved. There's, uh, throughout the studies, there's uh, a lot of uh, events going on. As I mentioned, robotics, uh, robotics uh, competition is held every year. Our robotics club uh, has picked the top three places for the football robots competition almost every year, except this year, <laughs> but we'll fix that next year. Uh, in addition to that, we have Cyber Olympics, uh, which is a competition uh, uh, for cybersecurity enthusiasts and of course throughout the year there will be much much more. So um, the uh, primary uh, or actually the only curricula that we offer in uh, English is the uh, cybersecurity engineering curriculum uh, which is comprised of um, uh, following modules since we are still a uh, bachelor level studies program, we need to give you a solid uh, uh, common understanding of uh, ICT systems. So you'll get both, you'll get IT systems development and administration. And based uh, on top of that, uh, we will teach you also just a little bit about cybersecurity. Just enough to get you started so you could land a steady job because uh, cybersecurity still is a very, um, how to say, sensitive issue in companies. Many companies do not properly implement cybersecurity, and that's uh, why we are here to help you, to help you find a job and to help the companies to fix their security problems. Uh, since we are a uh, University of Applied Sciences, a large part of your studies will be the internship. Internship will be 
uh, carried out throughout the last semester of your studies. So that's, that will be about two months or three months. And uh, to get your diploma, of course, you have to write a thesis. But uh, since, again, we are a University of Applied Sciences, this does not necessarily have to be very academic thesis. This is basically to prove that you are a uh, worthy cyber warrior, let's say. So all of the points are mentioned here using the ECTS uh, scoring uh, system. And um, since we are in uh, talks with the uh, Tallinn University of Technology about the merger, this will also mean some changes for us. So for example, the uh, uh, some of the courses will be, let's say, rounded off to six ECTS. So diploma thesis maybe will be six ECTS. Internship probably will be something like 24, but we will sort that out uh, through, uh, during the uh, spring semester. So you'll have most up-to-date information available on the school's homepage. So admission requirements. Uh, in order to get enrolled at Estonian IT College, you will need to submit the application filled in uh, in the application system. Uh, that information should be delivered to you by, by uh, the chat room, where you are probably already asking questions. Uh, there will be, uh, you will also need to submit uh, the certificate of secondary education, uh, including the grade uh, results. You will also need a English uh, proficiency certificate and the photo and I, I, I think I can assume that you don't have to send the actual passport. The copy of passport should uh, suffice and um, no extra exams are required. Uh, once you have sent those, uh, we will organize a interview with you where we will discuss uh, your um, uh, your admission at the IT college, uh, see what you have already done, see what kind of uh, skills you have and whether you are a suitable student for our tiny college. Um, I guess what you should remember is that the deadline for non-EU students is the 1st of May, so don't be late. And I guess that's it, so thank you. <laughs>